Clean Ocean Sailing spent two weeks in the Arthur Scilly Archipelago on board the Blue Linnet. Their mission? Collecting ocean plastics. Despite the February stormy conditions of the Atlantic Ocean, the group of volunteers made a 10-hour trip from Falmouth to clean up the islands. The Gulf Stream Ocean Current brings many plastic debris to the islands, making the Isles of Scilly particularly vulnerable. One big problem that we have here across Scilly is, as you can see, um, marine debris, marine plastic, uh, which is a major problem for us. On every tide, on every wind, you tend to find something new that washes up. A lot of this plastic doesn't come from Scilly. In fact, most of it doesn't come from Scilly. This is from around the Atlantic, from Ireland, from further across the mainland Britain. Plastics are a particular concern for sea mammals, seabirds and fish. Hazards include entanglement, ingestion and transmission of bacteria and pollutants. So it's uh, really good to join in and get rid of some of the stuff that's been there for tens, twenties, thirties of years. It's, it's everywhere on the off islands. It's, yeah. under, it's underlying on the uh, in, in all of the gaps of the rocks and then you get vegetation growing un underneath that and it uh, just disguises it and uh, it just breaks, breaks down out of sight. Despite local efforts from the Wildlife Trust and the Salonian community, much of the litter is inaccessible or too difficult to move. Special access permission was given to Clean Ocean Sailing to reach the plastic waste and bring it back to the mainland for appropriate disposal and recycling. Single-use plastic and fishing gear littered many of the inhabited islands visited. I'm Eric. I'm trying to help clean up these islands here on the Scillies. It's uh, incredible what we find here. Bottles, pieces of rope. I don't know if you've seen this here, but this is really beyond, far beyond our powers. But there is a lot of stuff we can pick up, especially very much small stuff. And I can show you, like, we have the bottles here, and the, polyst and the polystyrene. This is really terrible stuff. It breaks up in very, very small parts, and it ends up in animals, and it ends up in us. We're on Samson Island at the moment, on the Isles of Scilly. A lot of what we found on this island, um, we found a lot of plastic bottles. Um, and we found a lot of rope as well. And it's particularly bad because the Isles of Scilly are a haven for breeding birds um, and they can ingest little bits of plastic and also when they're nesting, um, having plastic bottles in their environment isn't helpful at all. So um, yeah, it's great to be out and doing our bit and supporting our local wildlife. Endless plastic bottles and polystyrene covered by vegetation and rocks were found after decades of being deposited. You can't actually step anywhere without stepping on the plastic bottles. And this is hidden on all these brambles. Huge craters and ropes heavy with ocean water and sand were found and hauled onto the fishing boat. I really was not expecting to be stepping on plastic with every step on the beaches. It's just very eye-opening, to say the least. Over the two weeks, five islands and other beaches along the Cornish coast were cleaned. The rubbish collected amounted to an alarming 39 builder bags, weighing 3,563 kilograms in total. Returning to Cornwall, the rubbish will be cleaned and sorted before being collected by the Ocean Recovery Project for recycling. Some of the material will be used to make kayaks by Odyssey Innovation. Together, we collected 3,563 kilograms of litter, picked up 19,000 individual pieces, spent 1,100 volunteer hours, and covered eight miles of coasts. Every day, ocean currents are constantly bringing more rubbish, which is washed up on the Isles of Scilly. Please help us to return and carry on our vital mission.